world plagued by big problems. Right? Problems like economic inequality, like a broken food system, uh, like violence against women. I don't want to talk about those problems. Instead, I want to talk about how everyday people right, are fighting every single day for change in their communities. I want to start with a story overall. So about a year ago, there was a woman walking down the street in Cape Town, South Africa. And she was grabbed and thrown into a shack and raped and almost killed. And the reason is she's a lesbian woman, and the man who raped her was trying to turn her straight. This is called corrective rape. And it happens multiple times in South Africa every single day. And in response to this, a friend of hers, Ndume Funda, whose partner was also raped, decides to do something. And she goes to an internet cafe and she starts a petition calling on the government of South Africa to stop ignoring the issue. And then an amazing thing happens. Over the next few weeks, more than 170,000 people from 150 countries signed that petition, embarrass the government of South Africa, mobilize international media, have an in-person protest in front of parliament, which in reaction to this, right, despite having no reaction for over a decade, passes a national task force to investigate and stop the incidents of corrective rape. It's an amazing, amazing story of injustice overcome. So how is this possible? How is, that, how is it possible for a poor woman in a shanty town in South Africa to start one of the largest and most effective campaigns for gay rights in the history of her country? The reason is Ndume, like all of us, is now connected via social media to people around the world. And most importantly, she has the tools necessary to mobilize hundreds of thousands of them to take action alongside her. So Ndume is an unlikely hero, right? a David fighting a seemingly insurmountable campaign against a Goliath. And against all odds, she wins. But what's most remarkable is that Ndume isn't unique. As there are people increasingly, day by day, unlikely heroes starting their own campaigns, their own towns, fighting for change and winning, right? large and small. People like Molly Catchpool, who's a 22-year-old part-time nanny who mobilizes 300,000 people to join her to ask Bank of America to drop a fee that's levied in the middle of a recession, and she wins. Like Sabrina and Tracy, the parents of Trayvon Martin, who are betrayed by a justice system that refuses to arrest the killer of their 17-year-old son. And in response to that, start a campaign that mobilizes more than 2 million people to demand justice and eventually get prosecution of Trayvon's killer. And people like Bettina. Bettina Siegel is a mom who saw the US government was going to buy 7 million pounds of scrap meat called pink slime and feed it to kids across the country. Right? Food, meat that is so poor in quality that even McDonald's refuses to serve it. <laughs> and she starts this campaign, gets 250,000 people to join her, and in a week, changes government policy. And this, the list of this goes on and on, of unlikely heroes increasing every day. The rise of this grassroots people-powered change is just beginning. What's exciting is that the tools allowed now for social mobilization are in their infancy. Right now, you can go online and you can start a petition. In the near future, you'll be able to go online. You'll start a petition and then have the tools to mobilize those who joined to go to an in-person protest, to go call the decision maker, to reach out to local media, to get endorsements from community leaders. And what's exciting is that story you have might inspire other people with similar stories around the country who start their own campaigns because of inspiration, use the lessons learned from your success. And those themselves might spark more campaigns from city to city, from state to state, to build a movement around the nation. So what does the world look like when that's possible? when individual people can't just start an individual campaign, but spark a movement. 
that will fundamentally change the relationships between people in power and individuals who currently right, face injustice and equality and fairness that they can't do anything about. And there is no issue that will be left untouched. So yes, we face big problems. Problems so big that many of us are pessimistic about the future. But the democratization of technology is such that people will be able to start more campaigns than we could possibly imagine. Right? Because there's not just one Ndume. There's not just one unlikely hero. There are millions of those waiting. And together, with the right tools, they can change the world. Thank you.